so pretty. Beautiful, nice and intense. This shoot is the fourth shoot that we've done four years in a row. Every year we do another art shoot and each year I come up with a crazier idea than the last to execute in a ridiculously small amount of time. And I always rope Steven into doing some sort of painting or backdrop. We got the team that I've been working with for four years. Brandon and Arlene, Lonnie Hale, everybody is amazing. They brought their A-game, brought so many cool things together. We oftentimes work with the same team and it's been very rewarding. She's incredibly talented and, and inventive and then with strong wardrobe styling we come up with some really fantastic, some of my best work. You know, we've got an artist that's painting and, and wardrobe styling and then props, you know, that are brought in and when we bring, you know, all the elements together it's fascinating that we all have the same sort of perception or direction or shapes and, and colors that weren't necessarily discussed. So we find little surprises, you know, here and there that I think are, are pleasing because we know each other well enough. First of all, we're always very inspired whenever Kirsten comes up with a concept. Yes, hey! <laughs> um, because she always thoroughly executes them and they're always so completely thought out and creative and crazy and it gives us an opportunity to really explore our own creative side. It was a little different this time around because we normally pull together and she actually was at a different store and I was at a different store and so when we came together, you know, and we kind of combined what we pulled. That was kind of a magical moment, actually. That was really fun. I was really inspired by the idea of taking a concept that is something that's been done so many times, which is like flowers and making it something different that I haven't seen before. And I came up with four different mood boards and those mood boards became like the sculpting material to build the shoot. Each mood board was based on a different color scheme. And so the first one was black and that is like the thorn, like the, the black flower, the thorn, the kind of gothic one. The idea of using the feathers and making the makeup, you know, not whimsical per se, but just that uneven, application, you know, the brush strokes, the um, um, incorporating a little art into it. It wasn't just about beautiful makeup, it was bringing like structure to the face using brush strokes. Then there's like the white, which is like kind of the frost, snow, wind blown one. We just started looking at things and layering things, you know, since the inspiration was this flower idea, which gave us a lot of opportunity to create a lot of layers, which I think was really awesome. I'm always inspired by Steven. Yeah. You know, like I, by the when backdrops. I, yes, when there's an art, a real artist involved, you know, I'm like always inspired by what is he gonna do? My thought with the color scheme was to try to pick a uh, specific type of flower for e each one to really hone in on sort of the feel and the shape of the whole look. So we tried to do the different backgrounds with, with each sort of a different sort of pattern and feel and, and shape. I saw storyboards or mood boards of the um, projects that we were working on and uh, I didn't quite know the theme so I'm very inspired by the wardrobe. When the wardrobe comes together and the backdrops are painted and we see all of the pieces, uh, when I see all of the pieces in front of me, it's definitely inspiring to me uh, for hair and I know what direction that I want to go typically, you know, just like that. There's the red which is like the contrast, the bright like middle of summer, um, playful look. This is more like I would say like a geisha inspiration. You know, as far as the strong, straight brow, the lashes going into a slant, and then the, the placement of the blush. Looking right here again, beautiful. And then the last was the brown, which was like the dead, decaying, wilting, wilting look. And then when we put the brown looks together, the drippy look, we yes. got really excited because it really looked like a wilting flower, like even hanging on a hanger, and we yeah. were super excited. Yeah. For me, it's when I get on set and I see it all come together yeah. with the hair and the makeup and the smoke bombs and the backdrops <laughs> you know, and the and models. The tearing models. And, you know, it's, know. That's, the, that's when the magic happens. So the whole process is fun. Don't make us choose. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Kirsten has a lot of um, opinions, which is really, really great, and uh, together we create a total look. And I think that total look is what you know, pushes us. 
and that's how we end up with, with dynamic, just super dynamic um, images. The project is really unique. I don't know if I've seen anything quite like it. The models were great. The models, models both did an did amazing job. job. Everything was awesome and I'm super happy with it and um, I can't wait to share it. It's going to be amazing. So. Cinematic everything. <laughs> <laughs>